about 70% of all the packaged foods that you would find in a typical grocery store contain some genetically engineered ingredients. So some companies are taking steps to take GMOs out of their foods and they're proud to let you know. But there are also many um, products that are con continue to contain uh, GMO flour, GMO sweeteners, GMO oils that um, may be GMO, but we don't know because GMO labeling is not mandatory. Sugar, we don't know for sure whether or not that's genetically modified beet sugar, and also contains canola oil, which may also be GM. Um, if you're trying to avoid antibiotics, growth hormones, toxic pesticides, and GMOs, organic's your only guarantee. If you see a product that's labeled as natural, that's, that is a guarantee of nothing. Um, so don't assume that natural means anything because it, it just, all it means is nonsense. So in the oils aisle, you can find natural vegetable oil, which is almost certainly got GMOs in it. Organic, which is guaranteed to exclude GMOs. And then non-GMO certified oils that are certified to guarantee that there are no GMOs. 100% natural, turn it around and what we see is it's 100% soybean oil. More than 90% of the soybeans grown in the United States are genetically engineered soybeans. Truly really natural snacks are the ones that are in the produce aisle, not in the potato chip aisle. So if you're trying to be healthy, you might start you know, with the carrots and the grapes and the, the good stuff. There, there probably isn't yet a truly healthy potato chip, but I'm sure that there are smart people working on it.